everyone welcome back to my youtube channel rebel free in today's video i'm going to explain you about the instance based learning in the subject of machine learning and if you're having your exam schedule nearby just let me know the date of your exam in the comment section so that i can make videos more quickly and so let's get started now first i'll tell you what instance based learning is and then i'll explain you with an example so that you can understand it more better okay so first what is instance based learning is see actually in machine learning we have uh, you know first we learn something and then we apply or we memorize something and then we apply so instance based learning will come under memorizing and then applying it so simply don't worry uh, about uh, what is this memorize and apply I'll, I'll explain you in detail okay so instead of performing explicit generalization it will compare new problem with instances in training which are stored in the memory see you'll have already you have already learned some um, some you know something you have learned already let us think okay then what instance based learning what happens in instance based learning is instead of performing explicit generalization that is what actually a machine will do a machine will learn something and based on what it has learned based on that pattern it will identify a pattern it will read a pattern it will learn a pattern and it will respond according to that pattern if there is any new problem right but here what happens is it will not you know create a generalization it will not create a general pattern instead of creating a general pattern what it does it will compare the new problems with the instances in training which are stored in memory that is it will not give work to its brain so for example in human terminology i'm telling you it will not there are some students who just learn who just learn the subject to get good marks in the exam but they are not concerned with whether the subject is going into their brain whether they are able to apply the subject or the concepts that they have learnt or not right so here also what happens in instance based learning is it will just memorize and based on the things that it has memorized it will give the output to the newly coming problems but it will not give work to its brain it will not you know um, perform any calculations it will not perform any you know deductions or anything whatever is there in its memory based on that only it will try to answer but it will not give work to its brain okay are you getting that so that is about the instance based learning for example another clear example uh, which you can understand is spam mail so in your email you'll be getting all spam related mails right so uh, whatever the spam are there they'll be going into the spam section so here also for example in order to identify spam mails we are creating a, a spam filter let us suppose okay we are creating a uh, spam filter in order to identify these spam mails okay so here instead of just flagging the emails that are already marked as spam mails what spam filter will do whatever are the mails that are similar to that also it will consider it as spam okay that is instead of not really investigating whether it is a spam mail or not a spam mail it will directly send it into a spam section by just if there are any similar mails to um, similar mails like that okay so that is about the spam uh, mails and that is about how instance based learning works okay instance based learning mainly works upon memorizing rather than application okay done so this is a, a simple way you can remember it and it is also called as memory based learning and it is also called as lazy learning why lazy learning i'll tell you okay so it is also called as memory based learning or lazy learning okay done so actually uh, you can do the instance based learning with three different approaches okay so you have the lazy learners and uh, in lazy learners the best example is knn about knn we'll be discussing in the next video k nearest neighbor so about this we'll be discussing in detail about the next in the next video how it works and what is the algorithm and what is the example related to that and all okay and the second is the radial based functions right uh, so radial based functions are mainly for weighted methods okay so they are they can also be called as rbf about radial based functions also we'll be seeing in a one separate video and case based reasoning c b r so based on different different cases you classify it so you instead of taking real or continuous values you take some cases and all about this also i'll make separate video so out of this video you'll be getting three more videos that is about the knn about the rbf and about the cbr okay so this is this video is basic in order to understand all these things because all these things are depending on are related to instance based learning okay done so this is how uh, you can this are, these are the three different approaches through which you can go with the instance based learning okay done so let us consider an example now so for example initially we have a function f of y is equal to 2x plus 5 okay 
so when you draw a graph for this function you'll be getting a graph like this a straight line uh, sorry you'll be getting a graph like this uh, a straight line passing through the origin okay or starting from the origin like that you'll be getting whenever you start uh, you draw a graph for this okay so instead of this instead of this this function got changed to some other function like this uh, f of y is equal to 2x square plus 3x square now this function will not again have the same graph right so here what we do we will be dividing the function into number of pockets okay so what do you mean by dividing a number of pockets like this the initially the graph was like this right now you have divided into different number of pockets or different number of segments you can say and here each and every segment is called as a polyhedron okay so each and every pocket is called as a polyhedron and here what we do is what is the use of this polyhedron or why do we have to divide it into number of pockets is in each and every single pro pocket this is a, this is one pocket right so in each and every single pocket you will be having a new instance so whenever a new instance is coming you will be allocating this new instance to the new the, the pocket which you have alloc which you have already classified based on the existing one right so here what it is doing whatever it has learned previously whatever it is having previously based on that only it is trying to give or based on that only it is trying to accumulate others right by memorizing see actually the graph for 2x square plus 3x square is not a linear graph right because it is a quadratic equation you don't get a linear graph for that right so but still it is trying to accumulate it in the linear graph that is whatever it has already previously learned whatever it is previously memorizing based on that only it is giving the accommodation to the newly coming instances also this, this is how instance based learning works and that's all for this video i hope this video is clear for you in the next coming video i'll be explaining about the knn and then i'll be explaining about the radial based functions and then i'll be explaining about the case based reasoning okay why because we have three approaches right here so we'll be learning about all the three and in the last we'll be learning also about the what are the lazy algorithms what are, what are the eager algorithms okay so lazy algorithms as nothing but in we will be learning about knn algorithms even in the exam also if they ask you about lazy algorithms you can just write what uh, about knn algorithm and come back okay that is enough okay done so now let's end this video here i hope this video is clear for you i have explained i try to explain every explain everything in a clear way but still if you're not able to understand the video at any part just excuse me for that and let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic